Hey you guys, it is Halloween weekend and I thought we could just do a little fall vlog. So I'm just getting ready. I typically don't celebrate Halloween like I have not since I was a kid, but my friend invited me to a little gathering. So I thought, why not? I'm not doing anything else. And it is a dress up event. So I am like scrambling to kind of put something together. So this is the base of my look, just a simple black turtleneck. I just did my makeup, very simple, and my hair. And I have this captain's hat from my friend's bachelorette party. So I thought I would just pop this on with a little vest, which I'll also show you and be a captain, I guess. But anyway, I'm running behind. I have to go. I feel like I'm always late. <laughs> So I'll try to show you my outfit before I go, but I thought I'd bring you along, so let's do it. And here is what we've come up with for the outfit. This little vest blazer thing, which is completely wrinkled because I basically threw this together last minute, but I think it goes really nicely with the hat. I feel like it almost looks like a set or like I bought this, so it's perfect. I will be Captain Kirsten for the night. you guys I'm back home it is currently 1 37 in the morning but the costume was a hit everyone loved it even though it wasn't really a costume I guess they all were convinced so that was great and I'm tired so I think I'm gonna call it a night and then catch up with you guys in the morning good morning you guys it is now the next day and I have been craving like a fall drink. So I'm gonna try to attempt to make one of my favorite Starbucks drinks, but at home. It's basically my version of a PSL, except I don't like coffee. So what I usually order is a chai latte with oat milk and then add some pumpkin cream cold foam on top. So good with a little cinnamon. So I'm gonna try to make it myself. I'm gonna use my standard chai recipe, which is just the concentrate from Trader Joe's and my milk. And I'm gonna skip the brown sugar creamer so that I can make my own cold foam and we'll see how that goes. So I thought I would show you guys how I do that. And if it's a good recipe, then you could also try it at home while saving money and not spending it at Starbucks. So here we go. For the cold foam, you really just need these three ingredients. So you're going to start with your heavy cream. And you can add three tablespoons of this into a jar. We've got one, two, three. Now you'll need some 2% milk, and this time you'll just add two tablespoons of this. The last ingredient is your vanilla syrup, which you'll add one tablespoon of. And technically, once you shake this up, this should make your cold foam. You can also froth it. But since I want to make this a pumpkin sweet cream cold foam like they do at Starbucks, I'm gonna add this pumpkin pie spice. So it's basically an extract. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, let's add just a few drops of this. And we will go ahead and seal this and shake it up until it gets nice and creamy. We're gonna add some ice to the chai and then we can go ahead and top it off with our cold foam. So for some reason my cold foam blend didn't actually get thick. It kind of stayed like a liquid consistency but really it's all in the taste test so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try.
I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up so that it blends together, but so, so good. And now that our fall drink is complete, I can go ahead and do a little haul for you guys. I did purchase a few fall clothing items from Abercrombie online and they came in the mail. So I figured I can go ahead and show you how they look on me and we can do a little try on together. So let's go ahead and do that. I've been dying to see how these clothes are gonna look on me because I saw these jeans on someone on Instagram and they looked so good on her. So I just immediately needed to have them and that's the whole reason I even placed this order in the first place. And then once I started shopping online, I just kind of threw a few other pieces in the bag. So I really don't know how they're gonna look, but hopefully I like everything. And let's just go ahead and try them on. Okay, so here are the jeans and I got them in a size 28 or a size six regular. They're the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans. And they're pretty regular jeans, but the reason I really like them is that they have a slit at the bottom, so that's a little different and it just adds a little style, a little flair to the jean and I really love this wash. Now I'm kind of bummed out because I just noticed that on the side there's like what looks like some brown stuff on them and as you can see they still have the tags like I just took them out of the packaging so I'm not really sure what that is or if it can be washed out. Can you see that? Anyway, I'm gonna try them on to see how they look because if they don't fit me, I'll just return them anyway. But I do like the overall look and style of them. And here is what the jeans look like on. I really like them and the split is not like too crazy. Also, I don't think you can really see that mark on the side so much, so I don't think I'm gonna return them. I really like how they look. And like I said, I love the bottom. It's not too flared or anything like that. It's just like the perfect amount. So yeah, I think these are definitely a keep item. And now I'm gonna show you the next piece. So the next thing I got is a shacket, which I do have quite a few of already, but I fell in love with this color and I just really liked the plaid and the purple. So I thought this would be a nice addition to my closet. This was expensive. It retails for $160, but I did get like a 20% off, I think. But still, it was like $100, which is way too much for a shacket. But I don't know. I just really like the color. So let's try it on. All right, here's what it looks like. I got this in a size medium because I tend to like my jackets a little oversized. And I think this one's perfect. I could definitely fit like a sweater underneath and I could even go out with it like this. I could wear it like almost like a dress with boots, but then I could also style it with jeans like I'm wearing now and a shirt. So I really like it. What do you guys think? Next, I picked up this brown top and just by feeling it, the material feels really thick and nice. It's a long sleeve and as we're approaching the colder weather, I just felt like I needed more long sleeves. But this one has this added like detail here with these spaghetti straps on it. So I thought that would be cool. This is in a size medium. And how much was it? Let's see. It was $50, but again, I got that 20% off. So it was around 40, I wanna say, something like that. But anyway, let's try it on. All right, you guys, I'm not loving this one. I feel like it could work for a different body type, but for me, it's just a little tight on the arms and I don't, like how I feel in it really. So this one's definitely gonna get returned, but I figured I'd show you anyway, just because it is a cute top if it suits your body. And then the last piece is another long sleeve. This one is actually off the shoulder. I just got it in black. It was $40, but with the discount 30 something. So I thought it was really cute. It feels really nice and soft and pretty lightweight. So hopefully this one will be better for me. I really like it. It's super soft and breathable. Like the material is really good. My only complaint is that it is a little thin. So I feel like it's kind of see-through and you have to wear the appropriate undergarments, which I don't exactly have right now. But otherwise, I really like this top. Definitely a lot more comfy than the last one. And I feel like because it's off the shoulder, it kind of adds something where like, even if you put it on with jeans for a dinner, it still looks really good. So I love this. I like the jacket a lot and the jeans too. So overall, this Abercrombie haul was a win. The clothes are all put away now. I am gonna return that brown shirt, but um, everything else is put away. And my neighbor, she makes these delicious cakes. They're called Al Mojabanas and they're like a Brazilian cake, I wanna say. And they're just amazing. I can honestly eat them myself and I do. <laughs> 
So anytime she tells me that she's making them, I always say I'll buy from her. It's just a way that I can support her and also have a nice tasty treat. So she's coming over any minute to deliver the cake and I will show you how that looks. It's like this guava and cheese cake. It's amazing. It's so good. It's almost like arepa if you know what that is. But yeah, I can't wait for that. And then we'll have to cook at some point. So we'll probably do that later. I'm defrosting the meat now. So yeah, maybe I will show you that as well, but we'll see what else we get into today. You guys, the cake was just delivered. It looks so good. I have to show you guys because it's delicious. This one was fresh out of the oven too. So it's like warm in my hands. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have a slice. Just look at that texture. <laughs> uh, it looks so soft on the inside, but nice and like crunchy on the outside. And you can see the guava pieces. Oh my gosh, cannot wait. Hello, you guys. It is early the next morning and I'm about to head out because my little cousin is on a football team and he has his last home game of the season. So me and a few of my family members are going to go watch him and support the team. They live upstate, so we're gonna have a little drive up there and just kind of spend the morning and probably a little bit of the afternoon there and then just come right back. It's definitely a nice way to spend a Sunday, so I'm excited about that. And I will see you guys when I get back. Hey you guys, I am back from the game and I just got cozy in this little hoodie, but my cousin's team won like 30 something to zero. It was such a good game. So I'm definitely happy that I went. And now, even though it's still daytime, I'm just like in the mood to curl up on my couch and watch a nice little Halloween movie. So I think I'm gonna watch that new one on Netflix. I believe it's called The Curse of Bridge Hollow. I figured it would be good and it looks like a similar vibe to Halloween Town and you really can't go wrong. So that's my plan. And I think we're gonna call it a night after that. <laughs> guys it's halloween day now i ended up dressing like a lion for the kiddos i just had on this onesie which was really hot actually because it is an oddly hot halloween this year but we made it through the day and now i'm home and getting ready to prepare for the trick-or-treaters so we'll see if any kiddos come by but aside from that i am just gonna probably make dinner and hang out here for the rest of the day so i hope you enjoyed this little fall weekend vlog and hanging out with me for some Halloween fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.